Welcome to this overview of the online test. Online test interface lets users take an online programming quiz. If you are a logged in user, then you will see the online test dashboard. I will now take the demo quiz. So I will click on see demo test. You will see the instructions and rules page. Read them carefully before you start the test. I'll click on start exam to start the test. Once you enter the test, the timer will start. We can see the timer at the right top. If the time is over, the test will end. At the top, we have information about the questions left. I have three questions left to attempt. Below that, we have question navigator. We can use the question navigator to jump through the questions. Below that we have the actual question. There are three types of question. MCQ that is multiple choice question, MCC that is multiple correct choices and code. Our first question is MCQ. On the right of the question we see that one mark is allotted to the question. Read the question carefully. The question says, what is the output of the following C code? Print F within parenthesis within double quotes percent D then comma 3 plus 5. We have four options. 3 plus 5, 8, 3 and error. An MCQ will have only one option correct. In this case, I will select option 8. Below we have two buttons, submit answer and attempt later. If we click on submit answer, then we cannot revisit that question. If we click on attempt later button, then we can come back to that question later. We'll click on submit answer. We see the next unanswered question. Also notice that the navigator shows green color to the attempted question. It shows light blue color for the current question. Note that if we click on the attempted question, it will not navigate to it. The new question is an MCC, that is multiple correct choices question. Multiple options can be correct and marks are obtained if all the correct ones are chosen. The question says which of the following are data types in C. Options are int, care, const, and float. This time I'll click on attempt later. We see the next question. I will visit the MCC question later again once I finish the other questions. Alternatively I can use the navigator to go to that question. I will click on the second question in the navigator. We see the MCC question again. Let us attempt it. I'll click on int, care and float and click on submit answer. We see the next question. At the bottom we do not see the attempt later button. This is because only one question is left. If we want to quit the exam we can quit the exam by clicking on quit exam button. Let me click on quit exam button. We see the progress of our test like submitted questions, unattempted question. It asks whether you want to quit the exam. If you click on yes button, the test will end. If you click on no button, the test will resume. I will click on no. So the test is resumed. The question requires us to write code. We are provided with the text area to write the code. The text area is divided into two parts, read only part and editable part. In the read only part, you cannot write any content. It contains a snippet of a code that is already provided for you. In the editable part, we will write the code that we are supposed to write. First read the question carefully. The question says that write a function in C called add. 
it should return the sum of two numbers passed as the argument to the function. So let us write the code. In the read only snippet, we see that the function is already declared int add within parenthesis int a comma int b. So we only have to write the definition for the function. In the editable part of the text area, we'll write the code. So I'll write open curly bracket enter written space a plus b enter close curly bracket and I'll click on check answer. We see the error message at the top of the text area. The error is because we missed semicolon after written a plus b. Note that we can attempt the code questions any number of times. Once it is correct, it will automatically move to the next question. Once the correct answer is submitted, we cannot revisit that question. Now, sometimes we run into problems with the browser or network connections. Suppose if I close the browser or the browser crashes. In that case, open your dashboard page again. Click on the C demo test. The test will resume if time is left. We have time left, so we see the question to attempt. Even if we log out and log in, we can resume the test if time permits. Note that if you explicitly click on quit exam, the, then you cannot resume the test. Also note that the code written is saved. So we can continue from where we have left. Before we correct the code, let us see what we should not do. In the question, it is clearly stated, written the value. So you should not print a plus b. You should return a plus b. Next, only you have to write the function and not the whole program. Then we have the function declaration already provided to us. So we do not have to declare it again. Also, we do not have to include any library files like hash include stdio.h. It will be taken care of by the system in this case. Alright, now let us attempt the question. What if I written a minus b semicolon and click on check answer. We see the error message again. It says that input submitted to the function is 0 comma 0 so 0 plus 0 is 0 so expected output is 0 and it gets 0 because 0 minus 0 is also 0 input submitted to the function is 2 and 3 so expected output is 2 plus 3 that is 5 and it got 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 so it is a logical error what if I write an infinite loop so I'll write while within parenthesis 5 equal to equal to 5 open and close curly bracket and click on check answer. We see the error message as code took more than 2 seconds to run. You probably have an infinite loop in your code. So if your code has infinite loop you will get this error message. Let us correct the code. I'll remove the infinite loop and I'll return a plus b. I'll click on check answer. We'll see the progress page. It says that all questions have been submitted and the test has ended. You may see the results immediately or later. It depends on the settings set by a teacher. In this way we can take the online test. Thank you.